Welcome to The Mental Travelers. I am Garo, and in this video I'll be talking about the British drama crime series Broad Church. I'll be talking about both seasons of this show. This will be a video with spoilers, so beware and there are eight episodes per season. And there will be a third season, but we still have to wait some time for it because they're going to begin shooting in the summer of 2016 and that's still six months away. So there's also this American adaptation of Broad Church called Grace Point, but I won't be talking about it because it's basically the same plot as in season one of Broad Church and I didn't really like Grace Point. There are some things that are different between Broad Church and Grace Point. The, the killer is a different person for each show, but it's basically just a copy of Broad Church, so no. Both seasons are made up by a very large cast so I'll just be mentioning some of them. The protagonists are David Tennant and Olivia Colman, and some of the supporting cast for either both seasons or only for season one or season two are David Bradley, Charlotte Rampling, Jodie Whittaker, and James Darcy, who I think looks a lot like Benedict Cumberbatch. The main idea of season one is that there's this small English town by the seaside called Broad Church and one morning a boy is found dead by the seashore. This boy is called Danny Latimer and in season one we get to see how the police tries to solve the mystery of what happened to him because it's quickly stated that he was murdered. But the plot is also supported by all these minor characters that are either the family of Danny Latimer, his neighbors, his friends and we just really get to see the way how a small town runs and how it works once something as awful as a murder happens to disturb the relative peace that rules the town. For example, in a town like Broach Church, a murder affects everyone and we also see several manifestations of what losing someone provokes in people. Some get angry and some get sad, some are confused, some are resentful and some are depressed and that's just the way people deal and cope with grief. I prefer season 2 because I think it's more original than season 1 because there are a lot of TV series out there that show a police or detectives trying to find a murder but in season 2 we get to see what happens after the police find a killer and we see the killer going to trial and declaring to be not guilty so that causes a commotion in Broach Church and that was something new to watch and I also prefer it because in season 2 we get two main storylines we get to see what happens to the killer of Danny Latimer, the boy from season 1 and because there's also this storyline that deals with the protagonist's past, Alec Hardy, the protagonist. Before what we saw in season one, he was working on this case called the Sandbrook Murders, but he wasn't able to solve it for several reasons. But in season two, Alec Hardy, along with his partner, Ellie Miller, tried to solve on their own the Sandbrook Murders. So that whole storyline, I really enjoyed it. And then I also like season two a lot because we get to see how actions that people do in season one that don't seem that important end up having a lot of repercussions in season two and even though the ending of season one was very good because at least I wasn't expecting who the killer was and because I think that the outcome of the trial was very realistic if it had turned out any other way then the whole plot of having a second season would have been lost I think I give it a 5 out of 5 star rating because it's such a high quality show from its technical aspects and its production and its photography up to its storylines and the cast, everything is really good and well made. For example, you suspect someone different in every episode of season 1 of being the killer of Danny Latimer and I've watched Broach Church two times and the first time I saw it I was always surprised or suspecting who was the killer and then the second time I watched it I was seeing all these hints that were falling into place about who the killer was so both experiences were really good what I like best about Roach Church are the performances of its protagonists David Tennant and Olivia Colman I actually came to know about Roach Church because of David Tennant since I love him and he's my favorite actor and I want to elaborate a little bit more about this in two points both the performances of the actors and the relationship of the characters they play Regarding the performances, I want to quote the actor Stephen Fry, who said of David Tennant's acting, David Tennant plays a kind of ruined figure, but he doesn't overplay it. It may not be on the face of it a performance to catch the eye, but it is. It holds the whole series together. Together with Olivia Colman, I think it was champagne casting. And I couldn't agree more with Stephen Fry. Colman and Tennant deliver brilliant performances. And then there's the relationship of the characters that they embodied, Alec Hardy and Ellie Miller. I love the evolution of their relationship throughout the two seasons. They are very interesting characters on their own, but when they are together, it's just magic. Their interactions are fascinating. And there are all these little details that I like about them, from the fact that there's not that much physical contact between them, they barely even shake hands. 
friends to the point that they call each other by their last names and if you compare the first time that they meet to the last time that they meet it's amazing the evolution that they go through first time that they see each other they don't really like each other but then at the end of season two they are really good friends and they can really only trust each other if they want to survive i want to comment that there are a lot of people out there who ship hardy and miller as a romantic couple i am not one of those yet i believe that there is potential for a romantic relationship to develop but not as things stand between them in season two it's too early they have a lot of skeletons in their closets they have to settle a lot of things from their past before they can move on and become romantic partners and that's it for this review if you like birch church i hope that you let me know so that we can discuss this brilliant series together you can find me on social media or you can post anything you like in the comments below about birch church i'm going to put in the description box a link to the imdb page of birch church as well as links to the trailer of the first season and the second season and i hope that wherever you are you have a wonderful day thank you for watching the mental traveler goodbye